Hello, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can call a, a Google search uh, image API inside Power Query to find related uh, images and topics regarding a uh, text. So what I'm going to use, there is a website named uh, Sir Poppy is actually it contain most of the API that you need for Google search from Google search, image search, and the other. So as you can see here, for example, you can search for a dog, for example, or for example, Akita, and uh, you can uh, actually specify the location or whatever. So I said no select and you is going to uh, find uh, different things. So that's how the API works. So it's bring all of the relative information about that. So this is the API that you can call inside Power BI. Let's see that how we can use it. So this is a documentation of the uh, Sir Poppy. That's actually Google API uh, to use it. So as you can see, there is a Google search API. Uh, as you can see, there are different things: buying gods, uh, answer box, image result, event result. Different things actually you can find it. The one that I'm going to use is image result so it's actually uh, it's a simple api with an endpoint and uh, also a key so uh, the free one you have about 100 searches as a free but if you want to uh, get more there is a plan that actually you can get it there are some other plans that actually you can uh, kind of use it as you can see i consume two searches so it's uh, kind of it's gone over here. Uh, uh, the one that you need, uh, there are some parameters that you uh, need to pass. One of them is TBM. That's a, uh, actually uh, should be ICH uh, for the image search. Uh, I put it ICH. Uh, another one is IGN uh, that actually shows the page number to get. Uh, it can be greater than zero. Uh, and some others that I'm going to show you. So this is the example, as you can see, search for Apple is going to find a list of the um, images for the Apple and their title. So let's see that how we can call it inside Power Query. So uh, I created a data set. I just put the name, uh, my name, Reza and Satya, and I'm going to Power Query. So uh, here is a power query that I'm going to write. But before that, I need to get a proper URL so I can call it here inside power query. To do that, I'm going to use the application name Postman. So Postman is a free application uh, that is actually help you to, uh, in, a, in a proper way, you able to create an API from parameters, headers, and everything, so you can call it and test it to make sure it's working. Uh, I use Postman to call data, any API from Cognitive Services, from Azure ML, from Google, and I'm sure you can use it for other. In the next video, I'm going to try to use it for uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT. So you can uh, actually use this one to call everything. So here is an example. So as you can see uh, here, I that's the application that I have. It has a post or get. Uh, I put a URL over here. So this is my URL. Uh, on the parameter side, I click on parameter. I put my query, for example, Akita. I put the uh, uh, kind of the term that I'm going to search that is image. So I use ICH. The API key, uh, number of the things that I want, and also I'm going to search for photos that their size is large. So as you can see, uh, ITP photos that the size is large. So that's the one I'm going to use. So uh, here you actually pass it. If you have header, I don't have any header over here, but you can specify over here. You can, uh, if you have a, a body, you can mention over here also for this one because they get i don't have any body here so it's just a get 
and with the parameters and URL. I'm going to run it and see that how it works. So I'm going to send. So after a while, you can see that it's actually is going to connect to that. It uh, first it's find some of the links, some researches, uh, Shiba Inu, and some linkers that related. Uh, and if I just go down on the list, you should see the list of the image that is over here. So image result, most of them are JPEG, and I'm able to fetch them inside there. So this API is working. I only need to use this URL over there, and I can parameterize that one. So I'm going to copy the URL over here for now, and I'm going to power query. So I'm going to create a new blank query. I call it an uh, image. And I'm going to put it uh, URL over here. So this is my URL that I have. Just put it for now. Okay, so this is my URL. I need to put to quotation over here. So this is my URL. So still it doesn't work. So if I click on OK, I just see the URL. I need to parse it and get the result. So again, I back to the advanced editor. So I'm going to use a function. So I write source equal uh, so we have a, a function name uh, json uh, that document so json dot document so uh, this one is actually use the url web content uh, from the url that i have so this one uh, I also need a column at the end over here and let's see that how it works. So it's actually because the result of my URL is a JSON format. So I'm using the JSON document to fetch the result from there. So let's see what's the result. So as you can see, it shows what is written. And uh, as you can see, uh, for the search metadata, I can see the ID, the status, and some other information, search parameters that I sent, uh, search information, and I have uh, the suggested searches and the image searches. I'm going to uh, right click here and add the list as a query. So it's give me, I convert it to a table so I can see the results. And I'm going to expand the results. So as you can see, it shows me the position of the image, the thumb, uh, thumbnail of that source title and everything. So I'm going to expand everything so we can see the data. So my search term was Akita. So as you can see, it shows which website is get that one, the thumbnail of the each one, the link. And also on the original column, you can see the image of the Akita is over here. So if I close and apply, and I'm going uh, to actually to here. So just be careful when you close and apply, it again is going to call that one. So, uh, so that means that if I'm going and check my API over here, uh, I want to show you this is my API if I just refresh it I think for third time because one actually I call it inside power query for one term and again I call it again so it's three of mine is gone so uh, there was some approaches that we need to be careful about that so over here uh, that was the image result and I'm going to make the image to be an image URL and we are going to show it as a table just to see that how it looks like. So it's about Akita. Akita is the dog. So it's going to actually to bring the pictures of the Akita. So actually you can also look at the titles. So it's bring everything about Akita over here. So which is actually 
nice uh, so you can make it a bit much more programmatic so that means that you can pass the parameter over there so i need to back to the power query again and so here i'm uh, actually i want to make it as a table i meant to as a function so here uh, as you can see so it's call it over here uh, i can go and parameterize that one so i can instead of i pass it akita but if i want to make it parameterize i can define a parameter over here so i'm going to a new parameter i call it as a image term search and it's a text I just put it Akita and uh, so I'm back to the uh, result that I have and go to the advanced search so here instead of that I use image um, term search so I just substitute with that one so now is actually it's become uh, a parameterized based on that so now i'm able to create a function of that uh, image search and now uh, for example i have a data over here uh, i can use the add column uh, invoke a custom function over here to call the image search for the full name so it's going to apply the search again when you're doing that one in power query once it's going to call the api for three rows over here if i load the data to the result i mean when you close and apply to see it in visualization it's going to apply again to call api again so the best approach is not this is to actually call the top rows and then uh, use the parameter to call the rest but because it's just three rows i'm going to show you so i'm going to invoke the custom function to the full name so as you can see at the bottom of the page says waiting for separacy and because it's just three rows uh, it give me all of the information so here is actually all of the things about i and reza and of course satya so as you can see there are lots of images is getting over here so now if i close and apply again is going to call the api so the base approach is that even you have a lots of things and your api is a limitation mostly like this that is expensive the base approach is that you just first uh, limit the uh, keep the top rows for example for one row you call it close and apply and because you already define a parameter so when you going there let me close and apply you can actually uh, use the other one to uh, use the parameters here to call the rest so once you call that api that's much kind of cost effective if you calling the api as you can see here you can edit the parameter so you can actually add a parameter for example you uh, mentioned that i just want to run it for one rows and you can uh, apply it over here so let's see that how it's kind of look like so again i put the full name i need to put the image to be a image url and then use that one so these are all of the images that i and reza are inside that so definitely you able to kind of the search and uh, kind of find it there but this is how you can call it there are lots of uh, ways to optimize that one you can uh, optimize the uh, google search api based on that um, and you can um, kind of make it much more effective but what i found actually using this api this application postman is helping me a lot to call the api and as you can see this actually is easily i just put the parameters over here and it's just put it there and i use the url uh, as i mentioned uh, you can parameterize that one everything over here in power query as i show you for the terms uh, to make it much more effective 
I hope you uh, enjoy this uh, video and um, uh, in other videos I try to uh, show more details about the uh, how to use different APIs inside Power Query and Power BI. Thanks so much for watching this video.